Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video has been highly highly requested by a lot of my viewers who watch me as I go live um, and sometimes I'll mention something about my, my microphone or my camera or the light I just got and um, so this video is to answer all of those questions and I am going to leave a link down below to um, all the items that you can buy and the links that are posted are to Amazon and I do get a small commission off of the purchases that you make um, on those links and no extra cost to you and it does really support my channel so I do appreciate if it is the best deal that you can find online if you do use those links um, but I wanted to talk about my setup because I finally kind of got it the way I really, really like. And I'm finally happy enough with it to film a video. Um, it takes me a long, long time to do reviews because I like to use the product for a long, long time. And that way I know the pros and the cons. And I can really tell you if it was worth it or not. So that takes a long time and a lot of um, trial and error. So I'm really, really happy with my setup, and I can tell you maybe what you can do differently if maybe you don't need a certain item that I have. Now, this setup is perfect for me because uh, I have the table that I have, where it is in my room, the space off to the side, off to each side is really important. Um, maybe the setup doesn't work for you, but maybe um, the camera does, or maybe the microphone does. So just so you get some ideas. Um, and also, um, I've taken all these recommendations from other YouTubers. So I, whenever I research something, obviously on how to go live on YouTube, I always look up things on YouTube. So I'll look up things like the best webcam, um, the best light, the best uh, budget, the best microphone on a budget, videos on YouTube. And there's a lot of people that do videos like that. And I just... They're so awesome and I'm so thankful that they do that so that I don't have to go through too many trial and errors and they kind of give you like a perspective on what could work for you or not. Um, I haven't found a video that talks about the specific setup that I have, um, like with the microphone and the light and everything. Maybe they might just talk about how to um, film uh, face down videos or how to film um, eagle eye videos. Um, but they don't talk about the microphone or they don't talk about the light. So that's why I wanted to make this video. And of course, I can tell you right now that you can put in all this effort and all this investment into your videos. But what really actually matters uh, to the bottom line is content. So you can have the best camera and the best light and the best microphone and somebody use dark video that they filmed with their phone with one hand might get 20,000 views compared to yours and that just comes down to content what people want to see and sometimes it doesn't matter if it's a grainy video with low light um, they'll still watch it over and over because the content is great so so put so much pressure on yourself that you have to have all this equipment I'm just like a really big tech junkie and I really like to have a lot of gadgets and it's sometimes it's really unnecessary but for me and like I said my setup and my it's perfect maybe you have a very bright window in front of your workspace and you can film during the day and you don't need this light but I have no light in my room as you can see behind me it's all dark so all my lighting is right here because that's just what works for me so just things like that to keep in mind you guys totally I can tell you right now that my setup is probably unnecessary but like I said because I just like to do the most and I really want to invest in my channel this is a setup that I have come up with with the budget that I have you can go off and definitely buy a better webcam and maybe everything else you could buy it top notch but for me and my budget this and my space this works for me so if this doesn't work for you if you don't think um, this specific layout is gonna work for you I suggest that you look up videos on YouTube such as how to film 
uh, face down videos, how to film overhead videos, and you can see other people's videos. They have different setups. They have a, they might have different tripods, and that might work better for you and your space. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Again, uh, my affiliate links are down below. It really does support my channel. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys when I go live Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So here we have my um, layout. Um, it is actually a dining room table from Ikea. So it's really, really wide. And so that helps, that even helps me with my lives. Um, I have a little bit of space. I have maybe about a foot, foot and a half off to the left hand side of my table. I have maybe five inches of space behind my table. And that is the layout that I work with. I actually, um, craft uh, on top of this white piece of cardstock that you see on the table it's just a poster board from the dollar store and that works great for me here you can see the lamps that I have around me um, that's how I keep some bright light around and so yeah now we're gonna get started talking about specific things like the camera and the microphone the stand and everything else how it works I just wanted to give you guys an overview look at how my setup is so first up we have the camera that I use and I use this web camera it is the Logitech HD Pro C920 and this is a great web camera um, it only it shoots in 1080p and it also has this part at the bottom which is very important that means it can mount onto tripods and not just be have to be used attached to your, your computer. So this is a great option for again my layout where I can hook this up to the tripod that I like to use. It's also very important that um, it's flexible. You can move it around. You can move the camera back and forth. You can put it up a little bit higher or lower it down. Very very flexible on the views that it can get. Um, so for the price that I got, it was a really good webcam. Um, it shoots at 1080p, so the video is nice and clear. Um, for the price, you really can't beat it. Um, it also has software where you can edit and adjust the settings, and I do suggest you that you look into that. And this little gadget is called uh, the Video Camera Recorder Adapter, and it is what I use to mount my camera on my stand. Uh, I'll show you that next. So I actually use a microphone stand to mount my camera so that I can get that face down overhead angle. Um, it's what works for my, um, again, it's what works for my layout. It's the, the bottom part fits in the space that I have off to my left. And it's just overall been working for me very well. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys how this attachment worked. Um, it basically fits at the end of the microphone stand, and it is a really, really um, customizable to the angle of your camera and what way you want to face. I also record my videos where I uh, record face my face with this camera also, so it works for totally uh, a whole range of angles. Also, very quickly, I wanted to show how um, awesome this microphone stand is for these videos. Um, I like to attach the cord of my webcam with tape, um, but it's really great. You can lower it down, you can raise it up high, um, again, depending on what you want to film. Um, the angles are great, the camera moves around, um, you can film midway. Sometimes I'm filming something really small and I need it to be down lower so that way you can see it bigger on the screen and sometimes I want to show my whole tabletop and I want to put the video up high and that's why this microphone stand is so great. Okay and now we're on to my microphone and the microphone that I chose to uh, use for my setup is the Blue Snowball Ice Condenser Microphone. And so far I have found this microphone to be awesome. The sound that I get from it is very clear. 
All my live videos are very clear, loud, no problems with sound whatsoever. I think this microphone is a little bit cheaper if you get it in silver, <laughs> but uh, I'm spoiled and so I bought it in black. Um, but again, this microphone is awesome and it really does work for me. I do suggest you come, you get the stand that I'm about to show you next because I dropped this thing two times and so that's what I recommend. <laughs> And this is the microphone suspension adjustable arm stand for the blue snowball. Um, this one that I'm leaving linked down below is specific for this microphone. Um, you might be able to find other microphone stands, maybe cheaper. I don't know. This one's pretty cheap. It's about $13 on Amazon. And again, I do recommend it because I have dropped this microphone twice even with the stand that it originally came in. So again, I do re highly recommend this stand. And now we've come to the latest addition in my setup, which is my newer LED photo video light, uh, model PT176S. And this light is awesome. I did check out a lot of other lights at a lot of other price points. And for $25, this was the best deal I could get. So um, the, I went the route with the batteries, uh, not the battery supply, the power supply where you just plug it into the wall. There's space for you to buy some like professional photo light uh, batteries. However, I'm gonna be using this indoors, so I don't need that. So I just plug it straight into the wall. I don't need a battery. Don't need to worry about that. This uh, light is totally dimmable, so you can put it up really bright. Um, and then you can bring the level down low. And again, this is just a really good light so far because I needed light above my webcam. Uh, I need an overhead light. I, again, I have no lights installed in this room. So I have, I need to create my own lighting basically. So again, this is the outdoor light that you see. It's more blue and it comes with this amber color. Uh, cover so that you can make it indoor light, which is more of a yellow tint um, Again, this is an awesome light. This is actually meant to be mounted on the top of actual professional cameras But I'm using it for my webcam purposes and it works just perfectly fine again If you have bright lights if your room is already really brightly lit then you might not need this but for me This was a must it was very needed and I'm very very happy to have this in my setup Again, links are down below for the price. Uh, you really can't beat this. And again, you just plug it into the wall. You don't need to buy the, the battery unless you plan on going outdoors. And maybe you do need the battery. But this is uh, perfect for me. So after I had found this light, I was really excited about it. And then I thought, how in the world am I going to attach this light to be above my camera? So I found this arm. It's also by Newer. Um, it is the, um, let me see, it is called the Adjustable Friction Power Articulating Magic Arm, also by Newer, same maker of <clears throat> the light. So I figured this would be perfect. Um, the learning curve on how to use this, this arm is a little bit high. It's really weird and you kind of just have to get used to how it works and sometimes it's just really funky it's just a really funky arm but you know what it fits my needs and eventually after playing with it for a while it works fine and I kind of just don't move it after I have it on in the perfect spot but this arm um, is perfect because I get to adjust exactly where my lights going to be and as you can see I actually attached this to my microphone stand so that is how I get the angle to be um, at the same uh, height as my camera. Um, this allowed it perfectly um, to be right up next to my camera. So in conclusion, the setup really, really does work for me very well. I feel like I get good sound, good clarity, good brightness in my videos, and that the quality is very, very good. So that's my setup for 2019. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just really quickly, I wanted to show you how I am able to get that good angle that a lot of people do comment on my videos about. 
um, how nicely I can get the angle up close to my sewing machine. This is exactly how I'm able to do it with this camera, this tripod. Um, I'm also able to add a little bit of extra light whenever I can. Try and get creative with whatever you have around your house. Um, I try and use this little light when I can. But of course you want your room to be very, very brightly lit. Um, so that way you get the best quality videos. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this video on how I go live and my video equipment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Again, my affiliate links are down below. I do appreciate your guys' support and I'll see you as I go live Monday through Friday, um, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for your time.